That looked like the guy was just chopping stuff for the heck of it for fun, as opposed to doing actual work there when he was walking away. It's kind of funny seeing this today. I was talking before about how I haven't heard much news about that snap drone, which you're supposed to be able to fly over people in the US. And then this article had a picture of it there. It said the US Army is still looking for its perfect quadcopter drone. The Department of Defense awarded 11 million to six companies to make it happen. It's not hard to imagine how a small drone like a quadcopter with a camera on it could be useful for a soldier in the army. After all, it's a way to see something that's over a hill or around a corner without sticking your neck out. But while the army has fixed wing drones such as a Raven and Puma that a soldier would launch by hand, it doesn't have an official army drone that's a four prop flying machine like any civilian might buy from a company like DJI. And it's kind of interesting to read here, it's not just DJI, they say they can't use any, I guess, consumer drones that you can buy from the store. It says the army has a policy saying that they're not allowed to use straight off the shelf drones due to cyber vulnerabilities or GPS jamming. As for the specifics in terms of the type of drone that they're looking for, it says for one, it should be able to fly for 30 minutes, have a range of 1.9 miles and be quote, man packable. So soldiers can easily transport it and launch it. So I would imagine it'd be foldable or very tiny. Maybe that's why they showed the snap drone. I suppose the reason why they're trying to get companies to do this is because they assume it'll be cheaper and more productive. It says, instead of creating a craft like this from scratch, the goal is for a company to adapt a current commercial offering. The companies that received the money through Defense Innovation Unit for this project are well-known drone maker Parrot, as well as five other outfits, Skydio, Altavian, Teal Drones, Vantage Robotics, and Lumineer. Altogether, the revenue they're receiving total $11 million. So lots of companies. It'll be interesting to see what they come up. It is kind of interesting reading this though. It says, the final goal is for a soldier to have the kind of drone they might fly on the weekends for fun, but a customized army version. Quote, you want to know what data is going in and out and you want to have ownership in it and what you're actually fielding because ultimately you can rely on that machine to save your life. Wakefield of the army says they're approaching this technology similar to the way a consumer views a smartphone. After all, these aren't tanks or helicopters that are supposed to last decades. We're trying to shift from purchasing one thing and fielding it and supporting it for the next 10 to 15 years. And we're moving towards an iPhone upgrade rhythm that a consumer might have. We believe quadcopter technology is probably going to advance at a similar rate. So there's so many interesting little lines and statements there I thought. Like just treating the drone for fun too, like an army person would use. Like that be the future where they would carry drones that they can use for business and I guess recreation just like they say like a smartphone and it's kind of interesting to hear specifically they're saying you know these aren't tanks or helicopters we want something that's kind of like a, a smartphone I guess in terms of the way you upgrade it and ease of use which makes me think like I said before in terms of things like tests and all that these aren't airplanes people are flying they're completely different so it's kind of interesting that the army has kind of the same perspective in that sense as well but would this make people fear that, hey, if the army can have these small, sophisticated drones, then every drone I see in the air must be a threat now, too? Okay, I just finished talking to a person from the newspaper where they wanted just, I guess, information of how the drone regulations, I guess, would affect regular people and all that and how people feel about it. Apparently, they watched some of my videos about the topic, so I just gave them the information. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but we'll see. So just a warning, if that thing is going to be more mainstream, so to speak, get ready for the haters, <laughs> if there is any haters anyways. Again, I don't know how they're going to do this with the information I gave.
All right, see you guys later. Thank you.